So I like breathing right now is kind of hard. So uh, just bear with me as I make this video. Um, anyways, so I didn't tell you guys, but I did cancel Ipsy. I received, I think, two or three bags. And honestly, the products were not that great. Like, I like out of all the box bags, I think I only kept three items besides the things that I purchased separately so it was really disappointing and I knew that if I didn't like Ipsy I was going to switch to BoxyCharm because they have five full size products well I switched and my box literally just got here so I'm pretty excited um the box is all beat up I have heard that that can be normal but I've also heard people saying that when their box is beat up the inside stuff was messed up so let's just hope and pray that um, this stuff, in, this stuff is okay. I literally haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it. I should have brought something to open it with. That would have been smart. But that's okay. Oh, I like that they put, like, two of these little tapes. Let's see if I can get this. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yes, I'm using my teeth. There we go. I did the trick. So it says, hello, Charmer, Boxy Charm. So inside of the box, looks like this. So Boxy Charm Sunshine, I got variation 36. If it would focus, 36, well, 36. For those of you who know about Boxy Charm, you know about the variations and stuff. So I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Can you see? Oh, I'm already like not happy because I see one of the things. Okay, so anyways, so this is it. And the first thing is this, this, this palette. So I haven't swatched it yet, but I have seen like a lot of people getting this. I was hoping I was going to get the Morphe palette, but I mean, that was like, the chance of that was pretty low. So it's Pure Festival 2.0. I've heard, well, the thing is, I've heard a lot of bad things about every product in BoxyCharm ever, but I've also heard a lot of good things, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. It's shimmer and matte, which honestly, I need a good shimmer palette because I bought one from Ipsy, and it just, it wasn't good, so hopefully this one's good, and then I could just throw that one out or give it away to, like, my family or something. Ooh, Okay. So this is what it looks like. Oh wow, it smells like vanilla. It smells like a mixture of vanilla and plastic. It's cruelty free, free gluten free, vegan friendly, and yeah. So I'm gonna swatch a couple of these colors. Ooh, okay. I don't know why people didn't like this. I like, I think, well so far it's swatching really well. Like. It's very pigmented on the, like, literally one swatch. You can't even, I wish I had better lighting in here. I'm going to turn the light on. Mm. Okay, let me turn this bad boy brighter. Like, one swatch, you still can't even really tell, but one swatch and it's, like, really pigmented. Like, I promise you, it's pigmented. Let's see, let me swatch one of the shimmers, because that's what I'm really here for. Oh... Um, I see why they didn't like it. The shimmers, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, well, when you blend it, it blends out pretty good, but like, um, I don't know. It's like very chunky. Like the best way to describe it is it's chunky. Okay, the dark shimmer is good, but the gold shimmers are not the best formula, it seems. They're pigmented, but the way that they apply is weird. It's like, it's like if you were to apply a matte eyeshadow and then sprinkle some glitter on top. That's kind of what it's like, which you probably can't even tell, even though this is a good camera. So yeah, but the, the mattes are good, so I don't know. 
I guess I still have to try the shimmers on my actual eyes, but yeah, I was hoping to get the Morphe palette, but that's okay. So there's that one, and oh, all right, let's come back over here. Can you guys see? Okay, I see some things I'm excited about, except this is open. It's kind of weird. But I see some things I'm excited about. I see one thing that I don't want, but that's okay, just because I don't like those kinds of things in general, not because of the, I don't know what the product is like, obviously. So, ooh, okay, I think I did not want to say. Yes, we have Amelia here, and she's good me. Okay, so I got the color switch, which I actually wanted. I know a lot of people talk a lot of crap, like, oh, it's like a Dollar Tree sponge. But it's a dry makeup brush cleaner, and I really, actually, really wanted this. So you can use this daily without harming your brushes. Sponge is reusable. So, like, I don't know. I, I really wanted this, so I'm really glad that I got this. And it's a dry, like brush cleaner I really wanted it and I believe okay so the value of the pure festival eyeshadow palette is 36 and the value of this is $20 so it goes for $20 I'm more excited about this than I am about the palette although the mattes are really 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 good the shimmers are just not but the mattes are good the next thing is oh this is my welcome gift so it's a Mirad Hydrodynamic Ultra Moisture for Eyes, which I got for signing up. This didn't, this one I have come with my regular box. And the box is a little damaged, but that's okay. Let's see. So this is for eyes, I guess. It's for the whole eye area, just not inside of your eyes, obviously. And it's like ultra moisturizing, which which I need, especially my eyes. It smells, it actually smells like it's probably a really good formula. It smells good, and my eyes need hydration, especially right now. I'm tired, but it smells good. Next is the, oh, I'm so excited about this. I was really hoping that I would get this, and I did. So it's a Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster Watermelon Green Tea Pineapple. And it's already open, but that's okay. Um, mix these drops and enhance your cream or serum. Oh, so you mix it in your face cream, which I use face cream, so that's cool. And then, or just direct it to the face. I'm probably gonna mix it in with my um, with my lotion. <coughs> this is what it looks like, and I'm really, really excited to try this. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm really excited to try this. It smells really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, it's so windows. I don't even mind. It smells so good. That's awesome. And like, these are all full size products. It, uh, Boxy Charm is full size, so it's a good size. Like, I'm excited about that. Let's see what this is worth. It's worth fifty dollars. Nice, and it protects against UV damage. It helps reduce eventual signs of aging. Oh, and it has green tea in it, that's right. So that's really exciting. I really wanted that, and I'm happy that I got it. Next is the Grace and Stella Eye Mask. anti wrinkle and Energizing Eye Mask. This is what I didn't want. I, oh no, I'm just, I'm lying. It wasn't this, but I don't really want this either just because I don't use them. Not anything about the brand or anything else. I just don't use eye masks, so. I'm gonna give this to Jaime. I know Jaime will use it. He loves things like that. And the value of this, it doesn't even say what smell it is or anything, but the value of this one is $21. This helps with puffy eye bags, fine lines. So yeah, that's worth 21 bucks. And I'm gonna let Jaime have it because I don't really want it and he'll like it. So this is what I didn't want because I do not use cream eyeshadows at all. This is the Studio Makeup Cream Eyeshadow. Let me swatch it. If I like how it swatches, I'll give it a try, but I just... Ooh. 
And his locks is ugly. Like, that is not cute. That's not cute at all. Wow. I do not want this at all. So let's see what that's worth. $25? I would never pay $25 for this. Mm -mm. Not a fan. It feels bad. It looks bad. If I were to use it, I wouldn't even use it as a face highlighter. Like, it's not good. So that I'm actually going to get rid of. I think I'll just get rid of it, honestly. I don't like that. But everything else I like, I like, if I liked eye masks, I'd be really excited about this, but I just don't. So, i say overall, um, pretty good. This was more of like a skincare box. Like, it was more skincare stuff. I did get two makeup products. I just do not like one of them at all. If I had to rate this out of a five, I would probably give it a three. Because I'm really excited about some of the products, but the shimmers on here are disappointing but the mattes are good this is disgusting this is ugly i don't like it mm -mm. and it's not even like even if i did like cream eyeshadows this one's bad but the skincare stuff and everything else i'm really excited about so yeah thanks for watching you guys and i'll see you in the next video